What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you my first ever Cinema 40 and Photoshop banner template, and this is what it looks like, and I'll show you how to edit it in Cinema 40 and Photoshop. So what you want to do from here is you want to click the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. So once you're here, you're just going to click download this file right here, download, and then it will uh, be like this. You might need WinRAR. I'll link a tutorial on how to get WinRAR if you don't already have it. So double click on this. And then first thing you're going to do is install the font. So you're just gonna going to double click on this font. If you don't, if you already have it, that's perfectly fine. But if you don't, then you're just going to double click on it again and click install. I already have it, so I'm not going to install it. So from here, you're just going to go back and then double click, or not double click, uh, just drag Cinema 4D and Photoshop out. So once it, once you drag it out, you just want to open the file in Cinema 4D. So I'll see when it opens. Alright, so once Cinema 4D is opened, you want to have Reaper 2.0. You need that plugin because it's that little wire thing right here. So if you don't already have that, I will link a tutorial on how to get that in the description. Um, if you don't have it though, do that before you move on to this step because it will affect the process anyways. Um, from here, you just want to click Mo Text and you want to change this to your text. So in this case, I'm doing tutorial. So T-U-T-O-R-I-L and then same thing here, tutorial. And then you want to click this plus button and then change this last one to tutorial or whatever your test is, in my case tutorial. Anyways, so from here, um, you want to make sure to set this to one frame and then click this button right here. Um, this is the render settings and then you're gonna click save and you're gonna save it to your pictures and you're just gonna name it whatever. So I'm just gonna name it tutorial, um, or banner template C40. And just click save all right make sure this is PNG I think it may be at PNG just make sure it's at PNG click output and then you're gonna make this 1920 this 1080 and this 72 this is probably already set at 72 I'm not sure about this but just make it this you can upscale resolution but I just leave mine at 72 because it's perfectly fine that way and then you're just gonna render this out so click this button and it just renders now this may take a while to 30 minutes to an hour depending on your computer so just be patient and I will see you guys in Photoshop once you're in Photoshop just click file click open and then go to your desktop so click desktop and then click or double click Photoshop and then open this uh, Photoshop document this is the banner template so as you can see I already put mine in here but I'm just gonna show you how you can put yours in here so you just click open you're gonna go to your pictures where you saved the um, Cinema 4D file, and then you're gonna open this one. So once you're here, you're just gonna simply drag it into the template, and then you you might want to size it down. So to do that, you're just gonna hit Control, hit T, hold Shift when you do this. This will proportion it, so it's just equal, and then you can scale it down. So I'm gonna scale it down to about there, and then you can center it. So I think that's a about good and you're gonna drag this down um, here so where it says replace it on 40 file you're just gonna drag it above that and then you can just either turn this off or just delete it so I'm just gonna delete this and also I'm going to rename this layer tutorial just so you guys may not get confused so there's that and yeah so this is your text this can be a text layer and then this is just a watermark you can just delete this um, this just leave this like that um this is to change the color so if you want to change the color you just hit this drop down menu and then you can uh double click on this circle or whatever and change the gradient so if you want like a shadow purple shadow theme you can just do that um this should not be here for you because i made that but like if you wanted to make yours you can just double click on this i'll uh, click this double click on that and then just change it to whatever color you want so like if you want green like maybe like that or like that or something, I don't know. And maybe change this to like a darker color or something like that, I don't know. 
I'm just not gonna do that though, so I'm just gonna um change it back, so I'm just gonna change it back to a red. That's about right. That's good enough. So that's just how to change the color, and then these are all the particle colors, but the CC changes with it, so I wouldn't really mess with this. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Another thing you could do is hit Control J, and then make sure you're selected on the top layer, and click Filter, Filter Gallery, and then choose uh, Stylize, and then just click OK. And it'll bring this type of thing on your, um, it'll just do this to your layer. And from here, you can just change the opacity down to whatever you prefer. So I think 50% 50 50 looks pretty good, but I, th I would lower it. So maybe like, or just screen it or overlay or whatever. Like, like that looks pretty good right there. But I don't like that personal preference. So yeah, that's just something you could do, but I'm just going to delete this because I don't like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So... Once you have everything done, you can um, click File, click Save As, and then choose Pictures, name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to write Tutorial Template, or Tutorial Banner, I guess. And then you're going to want to change it to a PNG. And you're just going to click Save. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, tell me what other t Cinema 4D and Photoshop tutorials you guys want to see. But other than that, peace out.